Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the force. Is that the guy I think it is? Of doom. I have placed guy... inside this vault a Jedi old Israeli fella containing a list of the names and locations of young force sensitives Might be, you know. throughout the galaxy. I hope you will find the inner chamber. How many of them do you think are already dead? Also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages. What was his name? Zeph something. Seek the mysteries of the force as the Zepho once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go. And El Cardova. Is that him? There. I'm not sure. Good luck, Jedi. And may the Force be with you. Oh, yeah, I think it's this guy. Not the guy I thought it was. But I do recognize him. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. Sure, I guess. No, you haven't. Without any purpose. Who is that prof fighting. guy? There's no way to live. Mm. Not for a Jedi. Not for anyone, dude. Or a droid. Unless that's the way you want to live. Some people like being alone. Maybe Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Well, we already know that it doesn't hey. end well for you, mate, because you, you don't some, uh, restore the order, do you? Friends of mine. <clears throat> yes, we've seen the films. Zephyr. Okay, now multiple entries. Archive 7, goodbye. Secrets of the Vault. My friend, my name is Jedi Master N. L. Cordova. Yeah, it wasn't the guy I thought it was, but I do know him. He was in Stargate. Pagano Vault, constructed by the Zephyr millennia ago, granted me a vision of the Jedi's doom. To preserve the order, I've hidden a holocron detailing the names and locations of all known young force sensitives deep within the vault. To access the holocron, you must seek out the tombs of three great Zephyr sages. BD1 will aid you on your journey. He will be your guide. Oh, wait a minute. My friend. My name is Jedi Master Eno Cordova. Eno. Wow, Pagano he's actually vault, pronouncing it correctly. Constructed by the Zepho millennia Dear ago. gods! It actually like let it keep playing. That's a rarity. I mean, granted, it didn't continue playing after I left the um, the thingy, Bob. Uh, the menu, but at least it stayed playing in there. Right, I guess. I said I hadn't. Oh, I don't know. No, anyway, let's head back out. I haven't found all of the, the thingy bobs in here though. There isn't anywhere else I can go at the moment. I think I found what you wanted me to see. Whee! Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. Slide slides. Oh. You fucking lock on. Fuck off. Oh, you are fucking winding me up, game! <sighs> Those things are really starting to get on my fucking tits. I can't dodge because I dodge into the fucking attack. Because the timing on it is so ridiculous. Also, what's with the lock-on? You need to be practically right next to them before it'll work. See what I mean? Alright, that seems to be the best way to do it, is just slowly dodge repeatedly. Yeah. And hope it doesn't do its fuck off. Yeah. Uh. 
Get dead, you. Biznitch. Fucking eat your shit, you cunt. As I've said multiple times, not PG-13. Is there anything over there? Will it even let me get onto this? Should probably have said that before I like, already jumped across to it. Oh, don't even. Uh, excuse me? You gonna climb up there at any point this year? Thank you. Yeah, I don't think I want to go and give the odd go bog go another try then, if that's what it's going to be like. Um, right, what else can I do in this place then? There's still a whole bunch of stuff that I haven't fully explored, I know that much. Guessing I'm going to have to come back when I have other skills. Uh. Hey guys. Yeah, another one. Why didn't he do this when I came through here earlier? No, seriously. Oh, because he hadn't unlocked it yet. It appears the Sefo had some interest mm -hmm. in death up here. Oh. Into dusting. For such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Dathom is a pretty cool city though. A uh, pretty cool planet though. Right. This one? Discovering Dathomir. My friend, I recently discovered the Zepho had some interest in Dathom. My friend. Oh, he's already I said it. I discovered the Zepho had some interest. Don't need to. Got a scan? Yeah. Faded mural. A faded mural located in Bagano, not far from the Zepho vault. It likely represents a planet, but the artwork is too damaged to make out any specifics. God. Good Josh. Alright, so those audio logs, I don't actually need to listen to them because he plays through them straight away. Should be a lot quicker. Anyway. That well, should be a lot quicker. Oh, I wonder if it's worth going to that, like. Thingy Bob place. Hmm, that place over there. I wonder if there's anything new in there now that I've um, unlocked Master Eno's stuff. Is there anything over there? No. Okay. it feels so much like there should be something for me to do in here? Can I run along that? Ow. Mm. Seriously? Are you serial? Right. So I can turn them off temporarily. What does that actually do for me? Turn like it's not like almost all of them, but then nothing happens. No. How do I get up there? there? Must be some reason for this. Is it just for me to get to that? Do you think? Seems that way, doesn't it? There's a chest there. No. Hmm. There must be something else to do with this, surely. Is that glowing red? something else I can interact with but not yet I'll just come back after I got some new skills and stuff uh. I know I'm gonna get like force pull force push that sort of stuff so I'll just come back after I have that let's just crack on and uh. right, climb around here uh. 
At least it's given a decent um, explanation for why you can get out faster than you get in. Rather than it just being suddenly it's opened up a, a passageway. Okay, how do I get up to that? How do I get over to that? Oh well. An echo or something down there. Can I get back up this way after I've gone down there though? Oh, that's where the Ogdo Bogdo is, isn't it? Then I wonder. Yes, I can. Run away! Will it stay injured? Because if it is, then hell yeah, I will cheese the shit out of it this way. If he's going to let me, I will absolutely cheese the shit out of it. Or is it going to be one of those that will get all of its energy back? Oh, I can run along there now rather than having to... Thing in the bob. I wonder. Soon find out. Uh. Because if it's going to let me do that, then... I will take my revenge indeed. Soon find out. Where is he? Where are you? Back in the same spot. It is. It doesn't. Oh, fuck up. Those fucking charge attacks are really fucking winding me up. There is no need for them to have such a huge wind up like that. You're actually throwing people off far more than you are helping them. That's harsh shit. Utter fucking harsh shit. Where the fuck am I going? Oh, let's go get all my stuff. Ah, oh, fuck off game. The fuck do you call that? Can I even be asked? You know, fuck it, you can keep him. I don't care. It's not worth the fucking aggravation. How the fuck do I get over there? Not like that, obviously. I can drop back down there, but that's to the fucking whatever the place is. Can't get across that. Can't do shit with that. Alright. Ah, that's what that is. It's not a bridge that I'm going to call up then. Huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Can I be asked going back? Yes, I know. You already told me. What is that noise? Seriously. Oh, well, let's go give him his fucking. Don't fall behind, BD1. Bot sack back. Actually, no, let's. Did he jump off there for a reason? Yeah, he did. Mm. What's he scanning this time? Boggling tunnel. Boggling tunnels connect their nests and serve as a natural defense against predators. Able to dig five meters per day, bogglings collaborate in heckles, a large pack spending approximately one third of their lifespan digging the intricate tunnel network. Get out. Right, can I do anything with this down here yet? Or is it still showing up as red? Still showing up as red. But yeah, I'm gonna need force push before I can do anything with that, aren't I? Alright, so. Never mind then. Let's just get on with it. At 
least go and customize my lightsaber a bit now. I have some stuff for it. Oh, it's not the wrong one. I need to wait for him to put... There it is. He's walking on his own now. I don't know why he walked to there. So you knew about BD1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Cool. Oh, BD1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? Get off my sofa! Hmm. Get, get off my sofa! Don't get out of there! Get out! That is BD1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of patrolling me? Um. Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He what did. do you mean oil stains? Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A hologram from the archives. Cool. It contains a list of four sensitive mm. children. And how many of them are going to be dead? The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was alone. Really? And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. Why can't you? Are we actually going to get any explanation for that? This is Master Obi Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the that Republic doesn't have sound like. With that list yeah. of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. That really does not sound like you and no McGregor. Problem. Let's get it. Well, except the whole crowd is hidden deep inside the vault, but. and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Uh, Look, doesn't we seem do anything, to be listed. I need to know something. In the credits. How come you're no longer a Jedi? Right, thank you. I've been wondering that. I had an experience that changed my perspective. Details, honey, so details. I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? Well, yeah, there wouldn't be much of a game if I wasn't. We're in. What the? Death Mirror Zepho. It's your choice. I think I'll go Dathomir first, actually. Quite like Dathomir. Multiple entries. Rebuilding the Jedi Order. <coughs> After revealing she no longer uses the Force, Ciri sent Cal to an ancient vault. Along the way, Cal found a friendly droid named BD-1 who joined his quest. On that journey, Cal reached out to the Force, remembering its ability to wall run. Inside the vault, BD projected a message from Masarino Cordova detailing how he hid a Horcron containing a list of known Force sensitive children within. To access it, Cal must find the tombs of three Zepho sages. With BD's aid, Cal embarks on a journey to rebuild the Jedi Order. Can I give when him the. Go, let me know. I'll be right here. No? Okay. Just have to click on that to do it. It's lonely in there. Better find more seeds. Right, I can actually look at it now. Yes. Will it grow over time? Probably. Right, let's go customize my uh Right, see you there. Right. You know Cordova. Which one was it that I got? A Valor and Wiz Ooh, yes. That I like. Um No. Yeah, that'll do me. Do I not have any new colours yet? Uh let's use the orange for a bit, sod it. Just 
to show off that I got the that I was stupid enough to pre-order the deluxe edition, eh? Yeah, you just slice the shit out of that ceiling. See how that works out for you, dude. 